Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. I'm happy. You're fine, Elisa. Excellent. What about the, the, the other ones? So, and you? All right. Um, I'm actually excited for today's class. All right, Fatima? Thank you so much for asking. I'm excited because today you have your midterm exam, right? So let's check y'all Thursday, February 16, 2023. Let me hear. Vaya, y no quiero que me digan solo fine, all right? Pueden decirme, I'm fine and excited. I'm fine and angry. I'm, I'm good. I'm happy. Whatever, right? But I need you to talk. Quiero que se exprese. So let's go with Vicky. How are you, Vicky? I am angry. You're great. Excellent. Very good. Uh, how are you, Melvin? I am happy. You're happy, great. How are you, Diego? Do we have Diego? Don't we? Yes, we have him. Aha, uh -huh, Diego, how are you? Okay, let's check. Claudia Flores, how are you, Claudia? I'm happy. Excellent, very good. How are you, Elias? I'm excited. 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 Excellent, Elias. Great. Alfredo Ramirez, how are you? I'm tired. I'm tired of working. Se le, le escucha como ahogada la voz, Alfredo, right? Bien bajito se le escucha. <coughs> right? Y ahora escuchamos a Rolando. All right, solo algunos han participado en esta practice. Esto es practice, all right? Lo vimos ayer, así que tienen que manejarlo. Susana Sanchez, how are you? How are you doing? Hello, Miss. Um, very good. Uh, thank you for asking. What about you? I'm pretty good, too. Thank you so much for asking. I'm actually excited for today's class. Awesome. Excellent. Very good. Let me check. Wendy Padilla, how are you? How are you doing? Um, I am tired. You're tired. Again? <laughs> You're tired again. Jeez. Okay. Well, again. I got you, girl. Beatrice, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I am, I am excited. Excellent. Wow. Very good. Let me check another one. Mm -hmm. Brenda, how are you, Brenda? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Rolando, how are you? Happy. Huh? Happy. Hello? Happy. Happy. All right. Excellent. There you go. Listen up, everyone. Those are feelings, esos son feelings, all right, sentimientos. But there's, that is actually uh, not some way to describe someone. Eso también es una manera increíble de poder describir a alguien, all right? She's a happy girl. Uh, she gets excited, all right? We have different uses, uses for feelings. So let's check. Today we are going to study the adjectives. Uh, first of all, let me check if the platform is open. Yes. I want to share with you the, the video from adjectives, of adjectives. Wait. 
because my platform is really slow right now. There you are, okay? Let me share with you this screen. Let's pay attention to the vocabulary, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio, and you should listen and repeat. It's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, a co-worker that you know and you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. Okay, with that, we have the enough information that we need to practice this part. So let's check and let's go with the vocabulary. Let me use my spotlight so that you can guide yourself. Okay, he's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. Cuando ya estamos hablando de dos personas, they're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. Aquí no vamos a pronunciar la L, right? Es, she's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Okay? Let's get started. Let's go with Fatima Ramirez. Please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. He's really tall. He's sharp. She's little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. 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 Very good. Excellent, Miss Ramirez. Thank you. Let's go with Susana Sanchez, please. Uh, she is a little heavy. Oh, he is really tall. She is short. She is a little heavy. She is really friendly. Yes. She is thin. He is handsome. She's uh, very pretty. They are good looking he is quiet she is talkative uh, she is serious he is funny she is shy all right very good now thank you susana now in this case we have contractions all right when you have contractions, you need to read the contractions. Si usted tiene contracción, va a leer en contracción, right? En, en, en contractado. Okay, so let's go with the next one. Rolando Hernández, please. He is really tall. Mm -hmm. He is short. She is thin. 
she is a little a little happy uh -huh. uh, she is really friendly friendly, friendly. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, he is uh, he is a uh, handsome she is very pretty mm -hmm. they they are good looking he is quiet 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 mm -hmm. quiet uh, she is talk at you Talk at you. She is serious. He is very funny. Funny? Funny. She is cheap. Shy. Shy. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Let's go with Fatima Jovel and after Fatima Elisa Romero. He is really tall. He is short. She is a little heavy. She is thin. He is handsome. She is very pretty. They good, good looking. She is really friendly. She is serious. She is talkative. He is quiet. She is shy. He is funny. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. For, uh, thank you, Miss Hovel. Let's go, Elisa. He is really tall. He is short. He is a little heavy. Over here. She is She's a little heavy. Uh -huh. She is thin. She is handsome. 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 Mm -hmm. She is very pretty. 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 Literalmente, pretty. Uh -huh, como que usted tuviera la P-R-I-T-I. Pretty. They are good looking. He's Quiet. She's talkative. Talkative. He's funny. He's serious. He's shy. She's shy. Shy. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Cristina and after Cristina, Roxana Chacon. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little she's a little heavy. She's she's a little heavy. She's really friendly. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. Yes. She's quiet. She's talkative. Mm -hmm. She's shy. He's funny. She's serious. Serious. Right. Serious. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Rosana. And after Rosana, Diego Valdez. He's really tall. He's short. She's little heavy. She's thin. She's really friendly. Ha he handsome. He's handsome. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. 
She's shy. He's funny. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Dio. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's really friendly. She's serious. He's funny. She's talkative. He's quiet. She's shy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. That's correct. Thank you. Now let's check with this. Do you have a question about each of the meetings that we're having here? Each of the vocabulary works that we are handling over here? ¿Tienen dudas o consultas sobre el vocabulario que tenemos aquí? Yes, no, maybe. No, teacher. Okay, I hear you, Fátima. Yo tengo una duda en cuanto a la traducción de She's a little heavy. ¿Cómo se podría traducir a España? Eh, puede poner es un poco gordita o un poco pesadita. Ellos utilizan esa frase, a little heavy, para no decir fat de un solo, all right? Para no ser grosero, a diferencia de muchas personas salvadoreñas que no nos interesa decir gordo o flaco, a ellos sí, all right? A ellos sí. Entonces ellos por eso dicen, she's a little heavy, all right? Como rellenita, podemos decir, ¿ok? O también utilizan chubby. Usted va a escuchar más de alguna vez, va a escuchar chubby. Que es rellenito también. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Another one. Uh -huh. No, everything is clear. All right, let's move on then. Uh, let me. Ok. Adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns. Old, green, and cheerful are examples of adjectives. It might be useful to think of adjectives as describing words. All right. So, in other words, in other palabras, in other words, adjectives are describing words. Los adjetivos son palabras que describen, right? Las utilizamos para describir a alguien o a algo. So, Wendy Padilla, can you please tell me the information? Um, adjectives and words that describe nouns or pronouns all green and cheerful mm -hmm. are example of adjective. It might be used to think to adjective as describing describing words. Excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Claudia Pineda, please. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns. All green and cheerful are examples of adjectives. It might be used to think of adjectives as describable words. Right, repeat after me. Describe. Describe. Useful. Useful. Mm -hmm. Esta palabra significa útil, all right? Useful. Let's go with Alfredo Ramirez. Please read the information once again. Okay, so um, adjectives are words that describe noun uh, or pronouns. Old, green, and cheerful are examples or adjectives. It may be useful to think or adjective as describing words. Excellent, thank you. It might be useful to think of adjectives as describing words. Exactly, Alfredo, thank you. <laughs> when we say old, we are talking about the age or the appearance of someone, right? When usted utiliza el adjetivo viejo, right? Eh, está utilizando una, está haciendo una descripción de la apariencia de alguien o de la edad de alguien. Cuando usted utiliza green, 
blue, white, black, siempre está describiendo, pero en colores, right? En la categoría de colores. Son adjectives. Cheerful is a, yeah, it could be a, a personality, all right? Cheerful es una persona que, como decimos en el buen salvadoreño, echa porras, all right? Siempre que usted hace algo, le aplaude, te dice, sí, vos podés, all right? Una persona que a pesar de, de los golpes siempre está ahí como, yay, very good, excellent, all right? We have cheerful, all right? Por si no lo conocían, ese es un adjective. También cuando ustedes dicen, oh, she's a, she's a sad person, es una persona triste, usted está escribiendo como una persona con los feelings, all right? So, do you have questions about the use of adjectives? Everything is clear, okay. Now, let's check this. And let me see. Cristina, tell me, what are adjectives? Mm, adjectives. Cars. No, what are adjectives? ¿Qué son los adjetivos? ¿Qué son en sí todo? No, es que esto se lo cambié, le puse esta para que no vea la information, pero quiero que me diga qué son adjectives de acuerdo a la información que vimos. Realmente no puse atención anteriormente. Mm, I got you. Ok. Yes. Let's go with another one. Let's check, do I have someone who knows what adjectives are? Uh -huh. I hear you. Yo pregunté, ¿quedó claro el tema? Y como nadie dijo nada, asumí que quedó claro. Ahora vengo y pregunto qué son adjectives y what happened. Uh -huh. um, I want to describe people. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Very good. I words to describe people or something. All right. Are words that describes a person. Or objects, porque también pueden describir animales, personas, eh, plantas, right? You can describe everything with adjectives, right? Pueden describir lo que necesitan con los adjetivos. Let's check the guiding examples. Chequemos los guiding examples. Elias, please read number one and number two. My sister is short. Mm -hmm. Ana is heavy. Excellent, thank you. Beatriz Enriquez, please. Three and four. Santi on Eunice Artol. I am a little short. Excellent, thank you. That's correct, all right? So let's check. I'm also able to say, también puedo decir that card, all right? O también puedo utilizar el this and this, all right? Recuerda que vimos los demonstratives, ¿verdad? Hace una semana, puedo utilizar el des y el dis para describir, por ejemplo, uh, this is my cell phone, it's pink and black, all right? Those are adjectives, pink and black, all right? Cada cosa que ustedes van aprendiendo está relacionada a lo que van a aprender a continuación, all right? O sea, todas las clases van con una correlación. Si nosotros aprendimos los demonstratives, podemos utilizar demonstratives como el this and that's, right? Para describir, si aprendimos los subjects, pronouns, podemos utilizarlos. Ok, so now is your time to practice. Ahora es el momento de ustedes de practicar. Let's check. Adjectives. We have big, clean, new, old, Long, small, cute, dirty, short, and fat. Okay? So let's check. De acuerdo a cada picture, usted va a ir poniendo el adjective, okay? Let's work on it. Trabajemos en eso, please.
If you have any questions, please let me know. All right. Si tienen dudas o consultas, me hacen saber. Con gusto les ayudo. Teacher, eh, fat, ¿qué significa? Fat. Fat es gordo. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. También utilizamos fat para decir gordura. Cute es tierno, ¿ok? Adorable, tierno o adorable. Dirty es sucio. Sucio. Finish. Great, excellent. Let's just wait one more minute and we're going to start. Finish. Cristina, do you have a question? Vicky, levanto la mano. No, finish. Okay, great. Let's get started. Let's see. Um, Melvin, tell me. Tell me, how is the t shirt? The t Repeat, dirty. Dirty. Entonces sería dirty t-shirt. T-shirt. Dirty t-shirt. That's, that's okay. Thank you. What about the next one, Cristina? Clean t-shirt. That's correct. Very good. The next one, Diego? Short air. Short air. Hair. Short hair. Yes. Fíjense que en inglés nosotros pronunciamos la H como, como J. Ya, yeah, como J. All right, like J. Mientras que en español no. Y a mí me pasó con los nombres de las personas en español que llevan H. Yo se los pronunciaba con J y ellos eran como, no, 
pero es que no se pronuncia, ¿all right? Porque se olvida la regla gramatical, que en español sí, sí es la H intercalada es muda, pero en inglés no, it has a sound, tiene sonido, so very good. Let's go with the next one, Beatriz. Your mic. Long hair. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Yes. Fatima Jovel. Old house. Old house. Very good. Diego Valdez, do you have a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, con eso que nos... que nos explica de la J, en el caso de Johanna sería como Johanna. Exactly, Johanna. Por okay. eso es que también el nombre de Scarlett Johansson, all right? That's the thing, yeah. The sound, all right. Let's go, Elisa, with the next one. Your mic. Your microphone. Excuse me. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> uh, clean. Clean house. All right. Yeah, it is clean. Sí está limpia, pues, pero ¿cuál sería la diferencia entre old house, casa vieja, o vieja casa, a esta otra? Vieja. Yeah. Vieja es esta, que está aquí. Mm -hmm. ¿Y esta le parece vieja a usted o le parece...? No, yo... ¿Ah? Limpio. Limpio. Mm, sí, pero ese objetivo ya lo utilizamos en camisa, en la camisa limpia. Vamos a pedirle a Wendy que le ayude, a, a Wendy Padilla. Eh, for me, it's a big, big house or right. new house. But listen up, these are engines, all right? And, podríamos llamarle antónimos lo que les han puesto aquí en estas en estas pictures tenemos eh, lo bueno y lo malo let's say it all right so si tenemos old house cuál sería la siguiente Rolando Hernández new house excellent bravo there you go new house si en la anterior teníamos old house y esta siempre sigue siendo una casa pero se ve Bonita, nueva, grande. Entonces, new house. Vicky, continue, please. And then Lucia. Uh, a small car. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. Lucia. Sería good car. ¿Ah? Eh, good car. No sé cómo se llama. Pero, pero vamos en la de car, Lucía. Ah, ok. Entonces. La de la naranja. New car. ¿Ah? Um, sería big car. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Brenda, the following. About the rabbit. Sería cute. Rabbit. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. And the next one, Elias. Fat cut. That's correct. All right. Thank you. No, my dear students. Let's go to the midterm exam. Nos vamos al midterm. Si no queda tiempo, vamos a seguir con la PowerPoint. Pero ahorita. Es necesario que trabajemos en el midterm. ¿Quiénes hicieron ayer el examen? Nobody. No. All right, vaya, miren, como consejo lo vamos a trabajar aquí. Es el primer grupo que me sale que no han hecho el examen antes de la maestra, porque todos mis grupos que he tenido lo han hecho antes, pero it's okay, pero está bien. All right. Hey. Solo no. comentarle que yo sí lo termine en la mañana. Great, Alfredo, great job. Bye. Entonces usted va a ser my backup. Right? Igual yo 
Teacher. Excellent, Cristina, very good. Yo, intermedio lo llevo, intermedio lo llevo. Ah, vaya, excellent, thank you. Yo también, teacher. Dos ah, vaya, ya, ven. ya ven, si había gente, very good, excellent. Now, listen, la, la parte A no la vamos a hacer porque yo no la voy a hacer con ustedes, ustedes sí lo tienen que hacer, pero no la vamos a hacer aquí porque es el único listening que tienen, es el, el único ejercicio que tienen de escuchar. Entonces, mi recomendación es que usted lo escuche la cantidad de veces que quiera, porque si lo hacemos aquí, bien fácilmente le voy a dar las respuestas. All right? O sus compañeras por ayudar les van a dar bien fácilmente las respuestas y esto no es así. ¿Ok? Las otras partes de la B a la H, sí lo vamos a completar aquí. ¿Ok? So, let's go. Cristina, please help me with the instructions. Instructions complete the conversation with the possessive my, your, his, or, or her. Excellent. Thank you. Number one, Matt. Okay, this is Matt. Talk. Matt is el que está hablando. Tony, this is my friend. Supongamos que yo aquí tengo a Jennifer Miller. Right? Entonces, yo llego a donde Tony, yo soy Matt, llego a donde Tony y le digo, Tony, this is my friend. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, Beatriz? ¿Qué posesiva adjetivo usaría usted? Her. ¿Cómo se leería la oración? Her name is Jennifer Miller. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Her name is Jennifer Miller. Number two. Jennifer is in, let's check, uh, Alfredo Ramírez. Uh, ¿Cuál, perdón? Number two, Jennifer is in. Is in our. Our class, very good. Miren, ahora viene diferente, la platform viene más fácil, porque antes yo no me acuerdo que dijera plural, y ahora sí les dicen un solo que necesitan el plural. Hour, right? Number three. Cristina, help me, please. What's? Sí, Tony, what's? Um, she's? No, 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 no. no. <ríe> es que estaba hablando con mi hijo, por eso me distraje. Sí, yo la comprendo, Cristina, créame. Eh, tendría que ser her. Last night. What's her What? last night again? Yes. Yes. Let's check. Aha, very good. No, no, no es que esté mal, Cristina. No es que esté mal. Es mi writing. Lo hizo para darles el ejemplo. Ya casi se desmaya, Cristina, right? No, don't worry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> exactly. No, don't worry, ok? No se preocupe. Veamos, ¿cuál será el error que yo tengo ahí? ¿Será que está en mayúscula la H? No. Yes. H no es your. H. Mm, también puede ser eso, fíjense. Vamos a ver. Vamos a probar con yo. Sí, es your. Let's check. ¡Yay! ¡Excelente! Very good. <risa> está bien. No se preocupe, Cristina, all right? Este, a todos nos pasa. De hecho, yo me confundí en esta parte ahorita. Pensé que, él estaba, que Tony le estaba preguntando de nuevo a Matt, right? Por eso vi sí, que... Sí, es algo así lo entendí también. What's her last name again? Porque en realidad nosotros casi siempre cuando hablamos con alguien le preguntamos al que ya conocemos. Información de ese alguien. Casi nunca le preguntamos precisamente a esa persona. But it's okay. All right, very good, y'all. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Complete the conversation. Claudia Pineda, please help me with the instructions. Fill in the black blanks with the correct for from of B. Excellent. Fill in the blanks. Cuando les aparezca a ustedes fill in the blanks, significa rellene o complete los espacios en blanco. All right? So it says number one. Ajá. Cristina, do you have a question or you want to participate? Sí, tengo, no, tengo una duda. Ajá. Este. No hay problema de que se termine hoy hasta las 11 de la noche todo este examen. No. Oh, sí. No, pero haciéndolo aquí, Cristina, no creo que termine a las 11. 
right. No, pero no, una suposición. <ríe> Suponiendo. <ríe> mm. Suponiendo. Sí, no, no creo. Creo que la plataforma se la cierra hasta las 12, la sección. Right? Así Muy que bien. si se la termina a las 11, you're good to go. Todavía va tiempo. Muy bien. Great. Ok, so let's check. Excuse me. Veamos, dice form of B. Recuerden que solo tenemos three verb to be. Am, is, are. Entonces le pregunto a Fatima Jovel, what would it be the answer? Uh, excuse me, are you Miss Brown? All right, excellent, thank you. That's correct. No, Diego Valdez, no. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Ya vamos a ver, creo que esa la batería como error, pero no por la respuesta, sino por el capital. Por el mayú mayúscula se dice capital, all right? And let's go with Roxana Chacón. He's over there. My name is Nick. He's or she? Nicole Parker. He, she over there. Thank you. Wendy Padilla. Oh, I'm sorry. Well. Ah, eh. I nice to meet you. All right. Eh, veamos, como el, es un placer conocerlo, no es un sujeto, sin, precisamente un sujeto humano. All right. Es más, vamos a utilizar un subject pronoun que es para cualquier otra cosa que no es un ser humano. It's. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Veamos si ese es. It's nice to meet you. Ok, let's check. Let's send. Uh, todo va a salir mal. All right, no, let me check for what. What's that? Todos bien preocupados, no, ve. No es que estén malas. Son los capitals. Por eso les dije. Por ejemplo, cuando Diego dijo esta, yo le dije, de seguro va a salir mal. Pero es por el capital. Right? When you have lower key también, cuando se tiene minúscula. Lower key. Entonces, también le puede tirar. Supongamos que usted tiene una mayúscula y una minúscula, le puede tirar. Mal, all right? Entonces, estas son las tres opciones que usted tiene. Puede decir, am contractado, como yo lo había puesto. Teacher, pero es esta igual que usted, que la que usted puso. No, mire el apóstrofe. Este apóstrofe, el que yo tengo aquí, va hacia acá. Y el apóstrofe de ellos está recto. Ok, got it. Ese es el primero. La otra, usted puede ponerla de la forma larga. O todo en capital letter. Ok. Lo mismo sucede con las otras. There you go. El apóstrofe me falló a mí. No hay ningún problema que haya puesto capital. De hecho, está bien que haya puesto capital porque inicié la oración. Pero el apóstrofe me hizo el no, no. All right. Estas son las options que ustedes tienen. Same with this one. All right. Lo mismo con esta. It's. Si están correctas. Ok. Very good. Just for you to know. Al final yo me voy a sacar cero aquí, pero ustedes van a salir bien. Ok, so, eso lo hago para que no cometan los mismos errores, right? Y ya no se estén preocupando. Let's go. Instructions. Check the correct response. Let's see. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Let's see, Elisa Romero. ¿Qué diría usted? And you, Phoenix. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Lucía, what would you say? ¿Qué diría usted, Lucía? Creo que es la tercera. Thank you. Thanks. Jocelyn, number two. See you later. I'm okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Let's go with uh, Elias. See you later. Okay, bye bye. Thanks. Brenda Esmeralda. Hi, how are you? Hi, 
Ajá. Nice to meet you too. Okay, thank you. Rolando Hernández. Hi, how are you? No bad, thank you. And thanks, very good. Good evening, Beth. Claudia Flores, good evening, Beth. Ok, yo doy tiempo suficiente para que me contesten a cada persona. Si se fijan, me tardo un poquito con cada persona, pero cuando no me contestan, yo asumo que usted no está en la clase. All right? Let's go with Susana Sánchez. I hear you. Uh, hello. Hi. No, no. It is. Hello. Uh, how are you? <laughs> All right. Let's check. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> Susana, when she said hello, I thought she was saying hello. <laughs> Yo, oh, hello, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> okay, very good. I'm sorry, but the dream has me like this. Thanks, everyone. Very good job. Yay, excellent. Nailed it. Vaya, los que no sabían que eran las respuestas, take screenshots, take screenshots. Tomen captura, right? En su mente, en su corazón, donde quieran tomar captura, pero tómenla. All right. Let me know. Y si necesitan que la ponga de nuevo, let me know. Letter E. Complete the questions and answer correctly. All right. What are, Elisa Romero? Uh, this All right what are these yes thank you what are these mm -hmm. uh, Wendy Padilla number two oh, I'm sorry number one mm -hmm. uh, these earrings Right, are you sure? Mire cómo preguntamos, what are? Tiene estas tres opciones. This, their, it's. They, they are. Yes, they are. Very good, excellent. Let's go with the next one, Vicky. Number two. Your sunglasses. Um, are these your sunglasses? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alfredo Ramirez, no. Uh, no, they are not. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Fatima Ramirez, number three. Is it book? Ah. Huh? Um, sería de a notebook. Vaya, a usted le suena, es, le suena bien decir, ¿es esto cuaderno? Is this a book? A notebook? Is this a, uh -huh. Excellent, thank you. Claudia Pineda, no, it isn't. It's... No, it isn't. It's an address book. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. An address book. Let's send. Yay! Bravo, everyone. Congrats. Very good. Excellent. Que se me hace que ustedes ya hayan hecho el examen y solo me estaban mintiendo para que me enojara. <laughs> All right, now, just kidding. Solo lo meo, okay? Quito broma. <laughs> So let's check. These are the options that you have. These are the answers. Por ahí una copiadita antes de hacerlo. And there you go. Y ya lo envía and you got 10. Okay. That's how we roll it. Let's check. F. Complete the conversation. 
Complete the conversation. Use the correct prepositions. Okay, so do you remember the prepositions, right? Lucía, díganme las preposiciones, a ver si nos acordamos. Al menos dos. Las preposiciones eran de que si estaba afuera, ¿verdad? Yes, ¿Sí? exactly, and, yes. And... Hasta no sé. <laughs> Pero creo que era in front. Ajá, in front of. Eh, el otro. Ah, under. Under, very good. Cristina Morán. Help me, please. Ayúdeme usted. Tal vez la tiene por ahí. Beijing. On. Behind. Behind. On. Next to. In front of. In. Under. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. So, where are the keys? They are. Elias. They are. On. Next to. Under in front of. Um. Thank you. Is the CD player behind the briefcase? Briefcase is es this. Miren el maletín. Briefcase. All right. Elisa Romero. No, it's not. It's. Veamos la imagen. Not to meet you. Oh. No, next to. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm getting worried. Me estoy preocupando, Lisa. What's wrong? <laughs> mire, yo tengo sueño, pero. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying, all right? <laughs> pero mire, ya, ya me tomé una tacita de café. Ya voy por la botella para sentirme fit. So, I'm telling you, do it. All right? Le, le animo, le animo que se tome una coquita. <laughs> Okay, so let's check. Uh, do I have another one? Alguien que me quiera ayudar en esta? Fíjense dónde está el CD player. Este es el CD player. Uh, next to. All right, next to. Thank you. Uh, let's check. Where is the newspaper, Fatima Jove? Under the briefcase. Very good. Under the briefcase. Briefcase. Uh -huh. Are the books. Veamos los libros. Are the books. Para, esta va para Beatriz Enriquez. On, next to, under, in front of. In front. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's send. Bravo, bravissimo, everyone. Yay, you got it. You wanted, you got it. Ustedes lo querían, lo tuvieron. Very good. 10. 10 out of 10. 10 de 10. Oof, let's check. Complete the conversation. It says, Iroshi, are you and Micah from Japan? Diego, yes, we. Yes, we are. Thank you. Cristina. Oh, you from Tokyo? Your microphone. Sí veo que está dando la respuesta correcta, pero correcta, pero su micrófono está cerrado. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> Are you from Tokyo? Uh -huh. Thank you. Lucia, no? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not the case. They are. Right. Ajá, veamos, por ahí escucha a alguien más, Alfredo. Uh, they are not. All right, pero le estoy preguntando a, a él y a Michael. Entonces no puedo decir, no, they are not. Porque entonces yo estoy dando la respuesta. ¿Cuál sería? Ajá, vamos a ver, aquí tengo a alguien que levanta la mano, Rolando. 
We are. We are. Pero en... Okay. Yes. ¿Será there? There? No, there no. Uh -huh. right. Let's check. Ya vamos a ver. Ajá, ya los puse en una encrucijada. En the last one, Wendy Padilla. ¿Qué me dice usted? From Tokyo. Eh. Are you? Okay, let's check. Everyone, I need you to focus, ¿ok? No, no quedemos solo con que, ah, aquí me van a dar la respuesta. No, pongan empeño. Le voy a dar esta, right? Ok, there you go. Eh, Rolando cuando me dijo we are, sí estaba correcto él, ok? Por eso le hice caso y lo puse. Por ende, si yo estoy respondiendo con eso, era lógico que también dijera we are al final, ok? Porque estoy diciendo, le preguntaron, are you, recuerden, recuerden, uno de ustedes me hizo esa pregunta cuando teníamos el short, teacher, creo que fue Diego el que me dijo, porque aparece dos veces eh, you, right, o el your, y yo le expliqué que había uno para plural y había uno para singular, y este es el caso del plural, ¿ok? Por eso les pusieron en entre paréntesis el plural. All right, everyone, la otra la van a hacer ustedes, la H solitos, ¿ok? Les voy a dejar ir ya. You can fly away. Pueden volar hacia el examen. Complete this exam, please. Completémoslo. Let's work on it. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right? Bye. Thank you, teacher. La H es la última, teacher. Yes, la H es la última. Solo eso les quedaría decir a ustedes, básicamente, porque todo lo demás ya lo hicimos aquí. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Lucía, tenía una consulta. Sí, quiero saber hasta hasta qué hasta dónde tengo que llegar aquí en la plataforma para ponerme el día. Vaya, hasta este día cierra la 3, o sea que usted ya tendría que tener la 1, la 2 y la 3. Pero si usted okay. quiere avanzar en la 4, go ahead. Porque los de, las personas de Insafor que supervisan ven eso también, qué tanto avanza el alumno, si le gusta, si quiere seguir, para tomar en cuenta eso en el próximo curso. Sí, okay. y solo hoy tenemos para hacerle el 3. Sí. Solo ahora. Por eso lo hemos trabajado con, tie con tiempo, ¿ok? All right, everyone, see ya. Bye, teacher.